Hey there everyone, my name is Jason and what I've got today is an assortment of Asian snacks that I picked up at the H Mart uh, a few months ago, uh, actually to be honest about three months ago, but they've still been stuck in their bags, they haven't been opened. I checked the dates on all of them, three of them say they should still be fresh as of now, I'm recording this in early December. Hopefully they'll still be good and still be tasty and even if they're not, you know, that'll be entertaining because you know, you'll see me and I'll make a funny face or whatever. And we'll just see how it goes. So I've got four snacks here today. The first one I'm going to try is kind of the most basic looking one I think of it. This is a uh, latte brand popping corn chips. See them there? And if you look on the bag, they look kind of like bugles, like the old classic bugles uh, snack that you get. Uh, this one is, this one has a freshness date used by, uh, what was it? March 24th, 2020. So I should still be good on this one. So, open this sucker up. Since 1983, it says on the bag that, that is not when I bought it. I bought it this year, 2019. So open it up. This is a little open thing right over here. This is the challenging part, is opening up the bag. Yep, I can hear the air coming out. It's still fresh. Okay. Interesting, a little bit of a stronger odor than I expected, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to make of that, but just you know, look inside the bag there. You can see they do have a kind of triangular shape. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. And they are actually more like, they're not like bugles, I guess. They're more like, like 3D Doritos. They remember those. They're really tiny, they're like a little puffy, they're triangular. They definitely got some shape to them. See, well, they actually do smell like a bugle, so let me let me go ahead and give them one a try here. Yeah, that's basically a bugle. All right. Yeah, nothing too surprising there. But uh, I, I kind of this is my control. This is my control snack. Just took it, it looked like the most normal thing there, so I bought a bag of it, gave it a shot, so... But yeah, basically Bugles. These are the Latte Original Flavor Poppin' Corn Chips. They might have had other flavors there. I mean, next time I go back, I will try something else. Here's the back of the bag, if you want to take a look at it. Don't, don't read, never read the nutritional information when you're having these sort of things. Just, just... Alright, so let's move on to this one. This is... I, I don't know. It, it's, it is a shell-shaped snack. That's about the only English I can read on it, apart from the, uh, the name, which is, I guess, Cosmos. Cosmos. Now, the thing I liked about this was the sound of it. I, I, just, I just like that. I, I, it's a very pleasing sound. And it looks to be another kind of maybe corn-based snack with some sort of something on it. So let's try this. I've got little paper airplanes on the bag. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Cosmos, I guess. Yeah, if you look on the back, it's got like a like a parachuting bucket. Or I guess it's on the front here. The parachuting balloon bucket thing. I, I, I don't know. Let's try this one. I love that sound. Just love it. Yeah, again, not much of a smell to it. And yeah, it is kind of shell-shaped. Like, it, it, it looks... I'll grab a couple of these. I mean, they do have kind of a seashell look to them. It's kind of interesting. So, let me see. They're kind of a little sticky. Got a little, some sort of glaze on them. And some little seeds. If you can see that really close up there. Alright, here we go. It's actually kind of a nutty flavor. Like almost, peanut butter almost, like peanut or peanut flavored at least. That's what I would say this tastes most like. You know, kind of a crunchy peanuty too. Does it say on here like you know contains peanuts or anything like that? Let's see. I'll read the ingredients here. Um, very small print. Yeah, peanut butter. Okay, right. The peanut butter milk. Okay, so yeah, kind of a peanuty snack. Also pretty good. I like it. Yeah, not bad. Oh. 
Once again, this was the Cosmos uh, parachute bucket snack, whatever. I, I don't know. All right, moving on. I'm going to go with this stuff. GGE barbecue flavor wheat crackers. Now, I've had something I think is similar from uh, Nongshim, the, the Korean snack manufacturer, which have a kind of like a barbecue flavor, but the same thing basically. It, has like, it says like a meat flavored snack or whatever on it. I think that's what this is basically, because it looks kind of the same, judging by the, uh, the picture on the front. Freshness date, by the way, is uh, March 1st, 2020. So we're good. We're good. Not going to die. I might die trying to open the bag, but they seem a lot tougher than uh, American snack bags. Now I'm going to try to brush some scissors with me. Okay, that was not the right way to open the bag. That was the poor way to open the bag. Oh god, I cannot move. Alright, so I got a lot of stuff down here collected around my leg. That I'll deal with after. Wow, okay. So yeah, they do look kind of like little, uh, little round snacks here. Little round uh, beefy snacks like I had in the last place. Or from the last uh, thing I was talking about. And I will give one a try. All right, it is kind of similar to those. It does have a, a very beefy flavor to it, but it's got the kind of like, it's a little wheat, uh, like rice cake, wheat cake, whatever. I really like the, just the texture and overall feel of it. And you don't really have like beef flavored snack chips or whatever in America. So it's a, it's a kind of a different thing that they have here, which is really good. Yeah, I would definitely eat a ton of these. Absolutely. Hmm. I'll have one more. Hmm. That was a really good. That was a, <clears throat> excuse me. That was a GGE upside down barbecue flavor uh, snacks. Now this one is interesting. It is potato flavored. It says made of potato. It is high, high tie the real with real honey, honey butter chips, honey and potatoes, which is an interesting kind of mix. I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. I've had tons of potato chips of all sorts of variety, but I've never had honey on a chip on a potato chip before. These are good until January eighth, twenty twenty. So I've only got about a month to deal with these. So. Open this bag, hopefully with a little less uh, consternation than the last one. It's more papery in the bag, so I think that'll be easier. It also has a little open thing up here, so I should do it by the corner. Let me just see if I can tear here. There we go. There we go. See, that works so much better. It's so easy. Alright. And it... Ooh, I can smell I can smell them. Smell that honey. And they do look like potato chips. Just like, like regular old potato chips. Oh yeah, there's a small smell there. Okay. So, here's a chip. And here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely honey. I mean, you can absolutely taste it. It is absolutely a honey potato chip. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of mad about it. It's pretty strong, the honey, and I'm, eh. Like, like I, I like plain potato chips just fine. I like the sour cream and onion. That's really about all I ever have, honestly. I've tasted barbecue. I've tasted you know, cheddar cheese and sour cream. There's like a, the works thing that I've seen in some places that has like all sorts of baked potato stuff on it. But this, I don't know. It's not bad, but I, I just don't think I'm a fan, really. I think there are a lot of other varieties of potato chips that I would rather have, so. It's not too bad. I'll still eat it. So get through the, I'll get through the bag in, you know, whatever I have a month to do it. So, yeah. Overall, nothing, nothing I had today that I just hate. I've had some of these videos before where I've just, we've had one thing where I'm just like, oh God, no, I never want to touch that thing again. But these were all okay. 
Definitely my least favorite was the honey butter chips. Uh, my favorite, as usual, the, the wheat crackers, the beef wheat crackers, whatever. Um, and I guess I'll go, with, I'll go with the peanut butter shells, or peanut shells, whatever they are. And then just because they're decent, but, you know, pretty boring, pretty, pretty much like Bugles, I'll go with this as my, my number three. So, there you have it. That was a uh, collection of Asian snacks purchased from uh, H Mart here in, uh, in Maryland. Uh, you know, we'll see if I uh, do some more of these videos later. If you like this one, give it a like. Go ahead and hit my subscribe yeah, hit my subscribe button because then I'll maybe make some more videos. All right, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Later.